Good morning guys and gals, Ted from Pewview Farms here, just uh, checking up, saying hello to everybody, seeing how everybody's doing. Um, just wanted to give you guys a progress update on what's going on around here. Um, been busily working on uh, inside projects inside the barn and my morning's off, which is Monday through Friday. And uh, getting some uh, much needed stuff done in the barn that has been put off for the last seven years. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick glimpse of uh, what I've been working on over the past week. Uh, so stay tuned. First, I wanna introduce you guys to the new additions to uh, Pewview Farms. So we got uh, two kittens here that were graciously donated to us from a, a local dairy farm. They had a few extras and uh, it was about time we got some cats again. Uh, we've usually always had cats around here to help maintain the rodent problem, if we have any. And uh, yeah, I did see a rodent out here the other day. So hopefully these guys are good hunters. Um, we got uh, Geo. Um, story behind that really quick is my youngest wanted to call him the good one. And uh, <clears throat> I have a hard time with long names. So we tried to abbreviate. So the little white one there is Geo, and then the little black kitten is uh, Witchway. And the story behind him is, is he only has one eyeball. I guess he got into a fight in his previous uh, place of ownership, and uh, the other cat won. But uh, he's doing good. Uh, <laughs> very friendly cats. They've been here for three days, four days now. I think they like their little home. It's kind of where they hang out at night. They sleep in there or right around in the hay. And then uh, I believe that they uh, go out into the round bales into the other lean-to and hang out there during the day because I don't ever see them when I'm out here working. But uh, all right, well, as you guys can see, I got wire, tools. I got my electrical bag and I got my workbench set up right over here. And uh, we are putting a much needed wiring and lights and plugs in this building. Um, all that's new up there. The fencer right there was actually run from an extension cord out of the only plug that was in this barn. So we run a jumper off of that and we're gonna start running some plugs around here so we can plug stuff in. So now I don't have to run an extension cord for the fencer. Um, the lights inside the barn are original. This, is, this was done. But this was the only part that was done. We didn't have any lighting in the lean-tos. So it was kind of a pain at night. You really couldn't see. You had to have a headlamp around. So, yeah, we're putting, uh, I think I'm going to run uh, three lights per bay. And uh, that's going to make a huge, huge difference. And then I had an outside light out here that we did have. I moved it up higher so it shed a little more light and uh, that wasn't working so we messed around with that got that working um, on this back wall here what we got going on here is we're gonna run a plug and a switch that top is gonna be a switch for that plug uh, these two water tubs I like how it's set up so they're inside the cows can't actually get around them they can only drink from the outside so we're actually I got that uh, 10 foot feed gate right there that I have as a spare and uh, I was going to put it right here but my future plans for this whole bank wall right here is feed gates all the way along here so I can also feed hay out of this part too because once we get some more cows and stuff that's going to get pretty crowded over in there. And as you can see, they're loving life. Nobody's complaining. Looks like these five kind of stayed out here for the night. Um, we try to give them the option. If they want to be out here, they can. And they seem to enjoy it. Because there's plenty of room in the barn for them to get out. So, yes, I'm going to be running feed gates. And uh, last week I went and looked at uh, some fiberglass gates. Uh, custom made. And they're actually pretty neat. Uh... They run cheaper than these uh, metal feed gates. 
And I like it because there ain't nothing that's going to rust on that. All the hardware that's used is stainless. Um, actually, the only thing that would be metal on those is the uh, gate holders. And that is it. And they make feed gates. And I checked them out and they were pretty neat. So hopefully down the road here shortly, we're going to be able to get three feed gates. And then we're going to mount them down through here. And uh, I think I'm going to close this upper half to the header. So from the top of the feed gate to the header, basically we're going to close that in. In all three bays. And I'm probably going to put a just a regular shed window. I was looking online the other night and I see Home Depot has some... Uh, Shed windows fairly cheap, you know, like right around 30 something bucks. You can get a decent shed window, It'll let in a little more extra light, and they do open, they have screens. But yeah, back here, as I was saying though, I think we're going to move that gate. Basically, it's going to hang from pole to corner of barn, and uh, we're going to cut that hemlock board right at that second 2x4 all the way across and open that up and move the water tubs here. So in the center of the two water tubs, I'll have a uh, switch and a plug to uh, plug my water heaters in for the winter so we don't have to deal with ice like I am right now. Yep, ice. So that's kind of what's been going on here um, up at the storage barn. I worked this weekend and uh, did some other things, and I'll take you guys up there and show you that and that'll be pretty much the update for the week uh what's been going on but uh we're trying to get some stuff done slow but sure but i'm trying to stay in out of the weather as you can see it's snowing pretty good right now um we got one heck of a storm coming this weekend and i think it's a, a pretty vast wide storm and uh it, there's potential to dump a lot of snow so any projects that you can do out of the weather works good so I figured I might as well start doing some of this wiring and getting it done and uh, like I said it's just gonna make a huge difference here especially come calving season because normally what we do is this lean-to is usually cleaned out when we start having calves in April and uh, as you can see I hang a gate right here and we let this gate cross so basically they have a uh, 24 feet by 12 feet in here and I can usually throw one or two cows because I like to keep the calves and the cows separated from the herd for about two weeks and then I let them out into circulation so I can rotate cows and like last year we were having them one after another we were running out of barn space to keep them and everything else so hopefully this will be all set and done and ready by April that's our plans. So, say good morning. You say good morning, honey? <laughs> oh, it's amazing how hardy they are. Like I said, they know. If they need to get in and get out of the weather, they will. But, they seem to be chilling, loving life, so... All right, I'll run you guys up to the storage shed and uh, show you our project up there, and uh, that'll probably conclude my weekly video. All right, guys.
mistake in that uh, ridge vent leaks. Yep, close first, open first. All right, I was actually able to put some of uh, my carpentry tools to use. I know my wife would just assume me having these being used for stuff around the house <laughs> instead of stuff for the farm, but uh, this worked out pretty good. Hey, we got light. I keep forgetting that there's a motion light there. Um, no, they uh, ended up leaving us a bunch of scrap lumber and uh, I mean, there was two by sixes, two by fours, all kinds of pieces of plywood. I think I had a full sheet of plywood. I mean, and I still have a bunch of two by fours and sixes there to do stuff with. Uh, but uh, we're going to save this nice metal rack shelf for sure. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Plus, it has pegboard behind it. I actually think I might take that pegboard off behind it and uh, utilize it on some wall space somewhere. But everything's going to get moved over here. I got two white cabinets. I got this one and another one in the corner we're going to move. And basically right over here, this is going to be our working area. Um, the shop had some uh, portable workbenches in here uh, before they left, but they ended up uh, taking those with them. I believe that there was some kind of sentimental value with those. So I don't blame them at all for taking those. So I needed some kind of workbench. So we come up here and uh, this took me about two hours. Nice 13 foot workbench to, you know, put a vise on. I haven't got a vise yet, so I'm gonna be looking for a vise. But get a vise on here and uh, <clears throat> just space to work on stuff, especially if you start tearing into something. And a nice shelf overhead to store tools, fasteners and stuff. I believe this shelf probably is going to go. Um, looks kind of rickety. But uh, I'm going to move these white cabinets over here. And I'm going to bring that metal shelf over here. And keep everything up along this wall right in this small space. So everything else is open for wall space. I ended up moving the tack board that they had. Uh, not tack board, but the peg board that they had. As you can see, it was right there. I moved it over here on the side. So we have a nice little workshop here. But uh, yeah, that, that worked out really good. Like I say, it didn't cost anything but time. And uh, what fasteners I had into it. And I had those left over. So, no, I really think that that's going to be nice. And uh, we got the radio. Been dying for a radio in here. I can't stand that walking into a barn or a shed or something. And there's not a radio. Uh, just me, I guess. Uh, Always a radio going on in the barn, and I've always had a radio going in my garage, and same way, you know, the shop. I haven't shut it off since I hooked it up. So. But no, that's that's what's been going on, guys. Uh, you know, just uh, getting inside work done. I guess that's the smartest thing you can do when it's uh, crappy, cold out, snowing. Um, as you can see, I have not touched any of the projects I told you guys about earlier. Uh, this trailer is definitely a work in progress. I was thinking about it last night on exactly what to do with it. I hear this is really common. That whole bottom's rotted out around the front. Just the front. Oh, I'm not sure. And I'm not a welder. So I'm thinking about getting a piece of steel that'll wrap around there and uh, probably rivet it to it and then maybe put uh, some lags into the bottom right here because that is all wood around there and uh, calling it good and then throwing some tires on this and going through the lights. The lights work when they want so it's got a short somewhere <coughs> and this thing this will last me a lifetime. As long as I keep the inside cleaned out and stuff, I think it'll last a lifetime. So no, guys, that uh, that's what was going on here. So, been busy. We got a lot of ideas. So, it's just a matter of getting to them and doing them little by little. 
I did notice the other day though I was up in here and uh, I don't know if a camera will show this justice or not but if you look at that here we'll stand straight on if you look at that uh, rafter it got pushed the top I noticed there was a little bow in the roof it actually looks like they spliced it so it must have broke so I'm really kind of hoping I can get that pushed over back to where it's got to be and uh, get it toenailed straight before it gets any worse. That's actually something I think I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to get up in there and try beating it over with a BFH and uh, see if we can get it straightened back up and get it uh, nailed in place. I can see I mean, they've had some issues here in the corner as you can tell because they got a new ridge beam right over there on the side. Or I shouldn't say ridge beam but... Uh, carrier beam for the trusses and it looks like a pole might have rotted out because they got a new pole so I gotta get that going I don't want anything to fall in because you never know what kind of snow we're gonna get dumped on and how long before it uh, slides off so alright guys I think that concludes this journey we'll close up and uh, Head back to the barn and uh, work for a couple hours before I got to go to work. I think I'm going to be plowing snow tonight finally. Okay guys, that concludes this video. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys a couple updates of stuff we've been doing around between the two barns, between the shed and uh, the main farm. Just trying to get some inside work done. Um, I don't know. If you guys have any input on anything that I have done that could be done different, better, smarter, uh, drop it in the comments. Greatly appreciated. Um, with that being said, guys, like, comment, subscribe, um, share the video, and uh, check us out. We have a Facebook page, uh, P View Farms. So check us out on Facebook. And, uh, and that being said, guys, look forward to talking to you all real soon.